You're getting robbed. Hey, I'm Sonway Andre Houston Mack, and today I'm going to be tasting wines by these celebrities. I'm excited. We have musicians, we have actors, and we have athletes, and we're tasting them all today. After our first episode of Celebrity Wines, we got a lot of feedback and a lot of comments about the wines and the selections. A lot of these wines today were requested by you. Next up from Eric Wareheim, from Tim and Eric, and also from Master of None, is Las Jerez Wines, and this is actually called Glug Glug. So the name is supposed to be reminiscent of the sound that you make when you're actually drinking the wine. Maybe more like guzzling the wine. It's a French term, and it goes like glug glug. So generally you don't see red wine in a clear bottle and that has to do with aging a wine. You wanna protect the wine from the sunlight and so the wine can actually age and have some type of longevity to it. This wine is meant to be consumed right when you purchase it, hence the name glug glug. It reminds me just off the nose, uh, slightly dusty, slightly leathery, like, like an old antique store, pomegranate. That's good. What I'm most surprised about this particular wine, the way that it's made doesn't outshine of the place that it comes from. And when I say that, I mean, this definitely falls into that category of natural wine, and that's not the first thing that I smell when I smell it in the glass. It's not this, this natty, bready thing. This is great, due to like the blends or the grapes or that they put in it, but like this is just something fun that you don't really have to think about, and it definitely stands up to its name as being chuggable in a way, hence Glue Glue. It'd be interesting to see how the Sapaja grapes changed from the previous year. 2021 was a big fire year in California. There definitely was some frost in 2020. People underestimate the role that Mother Nature plays in, in making quality wine, and it's a big factor here, especially for low intervention wines. We're not doing a lot of stuff in the winery after the grapes come in. So Mother Nature is really dictating what the wine is gonna taste like. Whether you're a fan of Eric or not, this is a cool wine, I would drink this wine. I'm probably gonna say that the wine is probably about 25 bucks, 29? 28. 28. At $28, I feel like this is good. You're not getting ripped off. I mean, it's kind of the bomb for 28 bucks. This is good. I say this wine is the bomb. Let's give it a bomb emoji. There were quite a few standouts, actually more than I anticipated. My overall favorite wine today was probably the Eric Wyham. Yamin was great, Pursued by Bear was great. I mean, there's so many ones that were just like fun to taste and interesting, a really great overall showing of quality wine today, whether or not a celebrity was involved or not. Ultimately, I always preach that you're an expert in your own taste. You should drink what you like, not what Kurt Russell likes, not what Pursued by Bear likes. I go back, his, his name is Kyle McLaughlin, sorry. <laughs> Got it, not, his name is not Pursued by Bear. <laughs>